fifth option is an exchange trader derivative contract okay is an exchange trader is an exchange trader derivative contract wherein the holder will get the right will get the right to sell the underlying asset will get the right to sell the underlying asset if you get the right to sell the underlying asset on the expiry date at the agreed price at the agreed price so let's see how does how does this work so imagine there is mr x there is mr y and x believes that you know the price should come you know down that's his prediction he believes the price will go down y believes the price will go up now in this put option okay it has been defined from the holder's perspective now who is the holder the one who holds the right to sell so in this case let's take x as the holder so holder will have the right to sell okay so if he has the right to sell only one party will have the right so the other party will have the obligation so what is the obligation so if holder wants to buy or sorry if the holder wants to sell holder has the right to sell so y will have obligation to mr y will have the obligation to buy okay y will have the obligation to buy so how does this work imagine they both have agreed for 1000 rupees okay so this is called as strike price which is also called as exercise price okay so here holder believes that the price will come down and so if at all the price comes down he will sell it for 1000 say for example the price will come to 900 so if the actual price comes to 900 this is called spot price so if the spot price comes to 900 uh, mr x has the right to sell it for 1000 so he will make 100 profit if at all the price the spot price goes to let's say 1100 so if it is 1100 it is available at 1100 in the market why would he sell it for 1000 so in that case he will not execute the contract okay so all rights are with the holder over here however we should notice that rights doesn't come free of charge okay so if you see over here every control is with the holder so if if such is the case then nobody will play wise role correct so how does this this work out so how it works out uh, works out is rights doesn't come free of charge so we need to understand that when holder is taking all the rights he will pay an amount uh, to the writer technically that is called premium which is the income for the writer he will pay an amount called as premium let's say he is paying on uh, 20 rupees as a premium in this case so if the price comes to let's say 900 if it comes to 900 he will mr x the holder will make 100 and then uh, he already paid 20 as premium so his net profit will be 100 minus 20 which is the premium so his net profit will be 80 okay and suppose if the price goes to you know 1100 he will simply uh, not execute the contract so in that case his loss will be premium okay so if the price is beyond if the spot price is beyond the uh, strike price holder will not execute the contract and he will let his uh, uh, option you know get expired okay so in that case his maximum loss is going to be only the premium and what if you know the spot price is somewhere let's say it is around 99980 so in that case what will happen so in that case uh he will sell it for 1000 mr x is, x will sell it for 1000 and then he will incur 20 profit 
however he already paid 20 s premium as well so so he will neither have profit nor he will have loss so that will be his break even point so if i convert this into a formula break even point is equal to uh, it will be strike price minus premium so strike price is 1000 minus premium is 20 so that is equal to 980 okay so that is the break even point so if it is 900 and let's say 995 so in that case how does this work out so in that case uh, the holder will sell it for 1000 and he will incur 5 rupees profit however he already you know paid uh, 20 uh, as premium so in that case uh, he will be having net loss of 15 uh, because 20 he already paid and 5 profit he is getting so net loss will be uh, 15 so in this case if the price is between 980 which is break even point if the price if the spot price is between 980 and 1000 uh, uh, the holder will be reducing his loss because already he incurred 20 losses as premium so he will be reducing his loss okay so if the price comes below 980 he will be incurring profit and if the price goes um, you know beyond 1000 he will ignore the contract uh, he will ignore the contract to let it expire and he will incur the complete loss of his premium thank you